Buying a new mouse might seem simple, but when you really think about it, it's an important decision to make, and one that you'll live with every time you sit down on your computer, so be sure to choose the one that will make your on-screen life easier. How do you do that? Well, the first thing to look at is shape and design. And start with whether you need a full-size desktop mouse or a mobile model. The difference there is obviously size and portability if you plan to travel with it, and the mobile ones tend to use alkaline batteries instead of a rechargeable micro USB port for juice. You should always look for a mouse that fits the ergonomics of your hand. There's different models for left and right-handed users in addition to contoured shapes to prevent the onset of repetitive strain injuries like carpal tunnel. Also, it's worth noting that a small mobile mouse might be a good fit for users with smaller hands. The majority of mice out there connect to a computer either through a Bluetooth wireless connection or using a USB accessory. You should probably stay away from the latter if you're prone to losing small parts, but just know that you'll be missing out on special features like Logitech's unifying receiver. That lets you connect up to six devices to a PC or mobile device using a tiny USB dongle. All right, so let's talk about buttons. You're probably used to seeing mice with two or three buttons tops, but now you can actually get one with five, six, even eight buttons that can be mapped to any function you want, whether that's opening a particular program, controlling your media, or switching between windows. Those shortcuts can really help you out with your productivity too, and once you grow accustomed to using them throughout the day, you'll probably be hooked forever. So here's my theory about mice. Everyone falls into one of two categories. You either prefer an infinitely smooth scroll wheel for jumping down pages with a single flick of the wrist, or you gotta have that ratcheting style wheel with notches that stop at each turn. Every brand has their own style, but I like Logitech's mice that can switch between the two. Remember the dust ball that would inevitably build up inside those old mechanical mice? Well, those days are gone and laser tracking technology has come a long way, enhancing precision movements and allowing for smooth mousing across different surfaces like wood, glass, and even your own skin if you're in a bind. Finally, your options can expand even further if you want extra stuff like touch sensitive gestures, flashing lights, or enhancements for gaming. Now the price for the fancier models can reach upwards of 100 bucks, but you don't have to spend a lot to get a great mouse that works for you. Start by checking off the features you need first, then decide which ones are worth paying extra.